Hi, Christopher's Factory. I'm glad you're here. So this is the little pulley that uses the polyurethane belts that I talked about in my last video. And today we're going to model one of those. So if I just show you the little profile here, that's kind of what it looks like. It's sort of like a V or a C shape carved out of the disc. And the reason that I want you to see this profile before we start is because we're going to be using the revolve tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a profile and then revolve it around an axis to create a new part. And I tell you this because the process that we're going to be doing may seem a little unintuitive. You're going to go ahead and grab one of your XY planes here, or either one of the upright planes, really. We're going to make, we want the whole thing to be 8 millimeters tall in total. So we're going to go up 4 and then create a rectangle going from that point that is 8 millimeters tall. And we're going to do 11.105 for the width. And the reason for that is, remember, this is going to be revolved around this axis on the left here. So the reason I did 11.105 is because when I make these pulleys for the 608 bearings, the 608 bearings are 22 millimeters in diameter, and then I add another 2.1 on there just for tolerances. So that is 22.21 divided by 2. So if you think about it as something that's going to be revolved, right, this is what the revolve tool looks like, this is the profile that is going to be the hole. So you cannot put anything inside of this box, right? It's essentially, hey, this is, this is partitioned off as space. This is going to be open space. Then we're going to take another rectangle. It's going to be eight millimeters tall as well. And this one is going to be the diameter that you want for your pulley. So if you have a big pulley, we'll maybe do 20 millimeters. I'll do 20 here. Why not? And then right here, I'm going to make a circle. And the diameter of the circle is going to be the diameter of your polyurethane belts, which for me is three. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up from this slot at maybe a 40 degree angle because this is going to be an overhang. So don't get too ambitious with it and return back to the center like that. This one as well. Is this one still 40? Yeah, 40 degrees. So now we have our profile. You can probably see where I'm going with this. We're going to select all these faces and we're going to click revolve. And for the axis, we're going to do that left axis there. And that's basically it. So now you have a hole on the top here. You can see that's 22.21. And then the diameter of the pulley is the diameter. You have to make sure that you include the radius of the bearing that we accounted for, because that is going to be part of it, obviously. So now one of those 608 bearings can be it can fit in there. I usually will grab these two and the center two circles and just fill it them by one just to make it look a little bit nicer. And the other thing that I do is if you look at this profile from a flat side, you can see that there's a pretty harsh change in angles. So what I usually do is I usually grab these profiles as well and fill it them by another one or sometimes more depending on the needs. I'll do maybe two here. And that looks good. So now when you print this, it will be able to fit one of those 608 bearings and your little three millimeter or whatever your diameter polyurethane belt will fit just perfectly in there. And then of course these work just like gears. So just use the diameters for your gear ratio calculations and you will be golden. So thank you for watching this quick video and have a wonderful day.